You know what? You guys are always requesting a fighter. Use this fighter. Use this fighter. Use that fighter. Use this fighter. Is it okay if I request a fighter from time to time? Huh? Huh? Can I request a fighter? You know, it is It is a good morning. And t today, I'm going to be the one requesting a fighter for a change, damn it. And you know who I'm requesting? I'm requesting Rafael Fiziev. No, he's not fighting anytime soon. No, he doesn't have anything. Why do I want to use him? I don't know. I'm just going to use him. I'm going to use him because, because I want to. Okay? So, yeah. No complaints on that. I'm going to go use him now. A little bit dramatic on that intro, huh? <laughs> Just a tad bit dramatic. Just a little bit. Just a little bit dramatic. Nothing too serious. Hey, 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 hey. Stop, stop sending me messages right away, bruh. Come on. Let's get it. Yo, Raging Bear 29, bruh. Let's fight. So, why do I want to use Rafael Fiziev? No reason. No reason. I feel like it. I know there's some fighter requests pending and I'm going to get to them, but... How about I just record this this showcase for y'all, huh? It's been a minute. Rafael Fiziev. I believe the last time we saw him was in there against Justin Gaethje. And this is the match we're having right now. And I shall redeem... I shall redeem Rafael Fiziev. Let's try. Now, this guy is just consistently circling to my right. It's like that's that's the way he's circling the whole time. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, man, there's certain things in this game that you might think to yourself, uh, isn't it okay because it's very predictable? There's predictability, and then there's annoying. Sometimes, even though a player is ridiculously predictable with what they're doing, the fact that it annoys you can actually affect affect your um, decision making. And I have a pet peeve with players circling one direction ad infinitum. It's very annoying. Like, see that he's just, it's, it's to my right, 20 over, over and over and over and over again. Of course, I could I could maybe like cut him off better and try to get him to start circling to my to my left. Okay, there he goes. So I'm trying to I'm trying to do it, but like he really loves circling to my right. Now, one thing he's doing a good job of though is uh, blocking or checking some of these leg kicks and checking leg kicks when you're using Justin Gaethje is actually pretty uh, significant. It's not gonna take much for my leg to get damaged, so I need to be careful. Do you guys just hear the guy in the corner, not in the corner, in the crowd that said, do it for the children. Damn, this dude is actually fighting back. Another thing also is Ah, uh, he's landing. Oh my goodness, he's actually landing leg kicks too. With those checks, he's actually damaging both my legs. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. See, the problem also, like, with the circling that he's doing to my right, is that it's consistently putting me in like an awkward. In an, um, in an awkward distance, right? I find that my distance is easier to manage when they're circling to my left. It's easier to manage distance. But if they're circling to the right, they're constantly... He's putting himself in a weird... It's hard, it's hard to explain. It's very difficult for me to explain. He can kind of get a bit closer to me. There we go. Rock him. All right, so now... Switch his stances. When he circles to my right, it puts him closer to me. And I kind of want him at kick and range while pressuring. He would be more at kick. There we go. See, if he's, if he's circling to this. Damn it. If he's circling to uh, 
to my left in Orthodox. It's also the cage. You guys see that? It's also the cage. You see the way the cage bends. Oh, shoot. Yeah, if he keeps circling to his right, just like this. This is good. This is good. This is good. I have more. But if he, the, the moment he starts going to his left, see right there, it brings us closer because of the way the cage bends. Yeah, this is what I want. I want this range right here. There we go. This is the range I want. There we go. These are a few things that people don't really pay attention to in the game, but it really affects everything. See, I'm trying to cut him off. There we go. Circle that way. There we go. Circle that way. No, don't start going back to the freaking right, bruh. Damn, what do you have against that direction? There you go. That way. That way. Beautiful. Nah. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. <laughs> so, you know, maybe this is going to help you as well. If you're facing someone that wants to stay in kicking range as opposed to boxing range, then circle towards where the cage bends. It, it's going to force you both together, right? Don't circle towards the outside. No. Don't circle towards the outside because it's going to put you right in kicking range. Yeah. Good fight, man. Good fight. <laughs> he he wasn't doing anything wrong. All right? Like don't don't Good fight to you as well, sir. Like don't don't misunderstand me. He, he I wasn't I'm not saying he was doing anything wrong or cheesy or anything. It's just he was messing me up. You know what I mean? He was just he was messing me up with what I was trying to do. Um that's it. But we got him out of there. Don't worry. I'm not going to do too many fights with Rafael. Just a couple. Just a couple. A couple fights and we'll call it a day. Let's move on. What a no life. Jeremy, 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 Jeremy. I am running into some of these guys that I have wins over, and I don't even remember when I did. Because it's been so long since I played on the Xbox. It's, it's like... Also, I'll say this again, man. I'll say this again. Now that I'm using this account again, you're probably going to start running into fakes of this account. My account is seek to destroy 348. Right there, you can see it at the top. If you run into seek to destroy 308, six to destroy 384, six to destroy 328, whatever, it ain't me. Don't be sending me messages talking about, oh, Marshall, I ran into you in ranked and I could not believe you were knee elbow spamming me. Can't believe you were. You're fake, Marshall. You're not who you say you are, bro. How you portray yourself in the video is not how you actually are when you're playing and when you're not recording. When you're not recording, you knee elbow spam, bruh. Ay, 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 bruh. It's not me. If you send me a message like that, I will troll you. 
There we go. I will troll you. Careful, sir. You got to be careful with those shots. Boom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom. Okay, whoo! That one stuck. That one stuck. That one stunned him. Hey! There you go. Uno momento. Ah, I just freaking injured my ear, bro. Ow. Well. That's going to hurt later. Careful. Careful now. Careful now. Bum bum. This guy's actually not bad at all. He's doing a good job of not backing up too much, right? He's like, he's not, he's not given too much ground to where I can like just have my way with him. He's doing a good job of threatening back. See, th th this right here is why I actually enjoy using Rafael Faziev a little bit. Because um, a lot of times it, it does drag the best out of players as I rock him right there. Um, and he's a fun striker to use in a game. He's also an easy striker to use in the game, in my opinion. Um, he's probably not as easy to use as someone like Dustin Poirier or maybe somebody like Connor, depending on who you are. But for me, he's fairly comfortable. Um, if I want to get flashy, I can. If I want to just play, like, you know, clean, where I'm, like, using all the highest percentage moves... I can do it. And that's the style I'm playing right now. I'm not like trying to get too flashy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You're trying to you're trying to get cute with me. You're trying to get cute with me, bro. It's kind of funny when I see players trying to do the whole I'ma punch you to the body and then pull counter you as you try to uppercut me. It's like, bro. I play against Romero 17, man. <laughs> hey, that's all I'm gonna say to that. Most players will either, these days, players are getting cute, right? They're getting real cute where they throw the hook to your body, but then they'll, yeah, see? That's what I'm saying. They'll lean to the left, which is why, like, right now, when they go to my body, I just fire off a hook. There we go, because that's most likely what they're going to do. Ugh. Oh, my goodness. I think I just freaking butchered my ear, bro. Here 
here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming about the way. He's seen him trying to block the block. He's rolling and slipping. He's doing a great job. Well, he hasn't really shown any sign. There we go. Sit him down again. Man, this is uh this is getting bad. This fight's getting real bad for you. Alright, if he would have gone to the head with that, it would have been just it would have been brutal. It would have been absolutely brutal. Careful, man. You, you got, you got to, you got to watch it. You got to watch it. You got to watch it, sir. Now, a lot of times, if a player gets here, I've seen this happen all the time. You guys, a lot of you will lose fights you should not be losing because you get your opponent right here and you start to get, you start to get dumb. You know, you think, oh, he's he's rocked so much. He's, he's so rocked. I can just. I can just go tee off on him now and just do whatever the hell I want. But you forget that a lot of players magically get ridiculously more dangerous when they find their back against the wall. This is true. It's not it's not magic. It's just when a player finds himself at his back against the wall, that's when they play to the absolute best of their ability, man. They get very, very, very smart. They do everything right. When how how many times have you rocked a player and then get rocked right after? It's cause like if he was right here, if he was right here playing you, the moment you rock him, he gets here. Oh shit! Focus. The light bulb goes off. He gets super super smart. The next thing you know, you're getting. That's it. That's it. That was brutal. That was nasty. There we go. Next thing you know, you're getting flatted, flattened, and KO'd. You got to be careful. A lot of times when you rock a player, be careful with how you enter that pocket. It's the same thing that happened. Like, it happens in real life too, bro. You know, what's his name? Uh, Pe uh Pereira. Had Israel with his back against the cage. Started teeing off. Left hook to the body. Left hook to the head. Knee to the head. Left hook. Goes to throw a second left hook. And easy. Boom. Boom, boom. Sit him down and that's it. You got, you got, you got to be careful, man. You know, you have that guy with his back against the wall. That's the best time to like, all right, measure, measure. Tap him, tap him. Tap him, tap him. Boom, boom. And just be careful with like how you're navigating trying to finish him. So, anyways, that's going to do it with Raphael Faziv. If you guys enjoyed the video, go right ahead, leave a like on it. It helps out the channel. I really appreciate all the love and support. You guys rock. I'll see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good one.